Here at the Laboratories of Cognitive Neuroscience, we study brain and behavioral development in a lot of different ways. I specifically study the development of the prefrontal cortex, and I do that by looking at kids who have ADHD, or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and I also study typical development and how variations in experience can shape prefrontal cortex development. The prefrontal cortex is the part of the brain that really allows us to use self-control to do the things we want to do and stop ourselves from doing the things we don't want to do. As you can imagine, that's really important in school and also in daily life. One of the main studies running right now is a study of stress reactivity in adolescents. And in the study, what we're doing is we're bringing adolescents into the lab, we're giving them a stress test, and then we're measuring aspects of their early experience and their current mental health. We really think that the physiological reaction to stress, stress reactivity, might explain the association between early adversity and mental health outcomes. One of the implications of my research is that there might be specific time periods that are really important for intervening for kids who have ADHD. Specifically before the age of seven, if we work with kids who have ADHD to create a better environment for them to practice executive function, we might really see differences in their working memory and inhibitory function long term. For example, kids with ADHD who have better working memory and inhibition might actually have a better time in class. They would do things like raise their hand before they have to go to the bathroom. They would be less likely to call out answers. And they might also have better social relationships with other kids. So they might have an easier time making and keeping friends. If we can understand which environments are better for the development of the prefrontal cortex, I'm hoping that we can use that information to really influence policy. And one of the things, again, that my research is really pointing towards is that supporting parents can really help create better environments for kids. So most parents want to be good parents, and if we can help them, we can often help kids have better lives.